This video outlines in short how to make changes to an application dossier in the context of a response to a request for information, or RFI. How to save and view the changes on the application. And how to view the other drafts of the application. In the evaluation section of the trial page, you can see two RFIs related to the validation of the trial. Use the arrows to expand the working area of the first RFI and click on the lock button to be able to work on this RFI and respond to it. If for the RFI response, you need to change the application based on the contextual information provided in the RFI, click on the Change Application button and then on the Confirm button. A green message appears on the upper right corner, informing you that a new version of the application is being drafted. On top, below the trial title, the blue colored ribbon informs you that a new version has been drafted. You can have an application version open in draft mode, to address one RFI at a time, received in each section. Since two RFIs have been received during the validation phase, you can have a new version in draft, to address one RFI at a time. In this validation related draft, you can make changes in the form section, in part 1, or in part 2. After the validation, the member states concerned, or MSCs, will proceed with the assessment of part 1 and part 2 and will submit relevant RFIs, if needed. In this example, there are RFIs for the part 1, and also RFIs for the part 2, raised by each MSC. As a result, in this case you might have up to three different drafts of the application, under the condition that each draft is related to different dossier parts of the evaluation phase. One draft for assessment part 1, one draft for assessment part 2 of Austria, and another one, for assessment part 2 of Germany. You may navigate to the various drafts from the blue ribbon on top that refers to the draft ID. Use the drop-down button to move from the one draft to the other. Select the draft you want to work with. In this example, there is only one draft related to an RFI for the assessment of part 1. Click on the lock button to make the necessary changes. In this example, the full title and the public title of the trial are subject to changes. Type in the fields the correct titles. Below, the protocol document needs to change. Click on the Update button, to upload a new version of the document. In the pop-up form, drop the new version on the grey area, or click on the grey area. Browse your folders and select the correct file. The field version is indicated by an asterisk and it is mandatory to be filled in. Insert the number of the version. You can use the comment field to provide additional information. Click on the Update button. The new version of the document has been uploaded. You can still access the previous version of the document by using the previous version's label, found on the right side. You can also upload a second document by using the Add Document button. After you insert the changes, save them by clicking the Save button on the upper right corner. Once you save the changes, on the left side, where the sections are listed, you can see a blue dot, appearing next to part 1. This blue dot indicates that changes have been inserted on that specific section. The fields that have changed are highlighted in yellow rectangles. A yellow tooltip appears on the right side. If you hover your mouse over the tooltip, the ID of the RFI appears. Scroll down to the end of the page to view the documents that have changed. The protocol has also been changed as part of the RFI response, and the drop-down arrow that allows you to access the previous version appears on the right side. Relevant comments might indicate the origin of the change. In the end of the page, you can use the bar to hide the highlighting rectangles on the changed fields. This functionality is available to identify the changes done with RFI responses or due to substantial modifications. After you insert the required changes and save your draft, click on the Evaluation section to go back to the RFI working area and to progress with the submission of the updated application dossier and RFI responses. You cannot submit your response unless you reply to each one of the considerations.
You can see the steps in the last video clip of this module. This video is part of the CTIS training program. For more information on how to make changes on the application, as part of an RFI response, you may visit our training platform and our additional materials.